Hey guys, Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency update. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. And let's get right into the information today. One take uncut. This is not going to be hype based at all. I think I'm kind of getting sick of seeing too much speculation and hype based videos. So I am just going to speak the facts from what we know based off of SAP, R3, Accenture, the Ariba Network, Goldman Sachs, ATB, you name it. You guys, I'm going to leave the speculation to you for this video, um, and we'll just see. I kind of want to just prove a point and show that, you know, primarily the XRP community is, you know, only interested in hype and not the actual facts. And I'm just going to kind of go through some information that we know, and I'll leave the rest to you. So we'll see how this video does in terms of viewership and engagement and comments and likes. And we will kind of just do a little test here. All right, so right here, Accenture, we know helping these groups with, you know, distributed ledger technology adoption and obviously focusing, as we can see here on RTGS, real-time growth settlement and partnering with R3 and SAP to bring this. Now, this is not necessarily just bank to bank, you know, uh, you know, interbank settlement. They're actually just talking about using currencies for end to end settlement. And this could be between, you know, even their partners and groups with trade finance. Keep in mind, Accenture is not only helping R3, they also partnered with Ripple to help them and integrate with other groups, along with even Swift, believe it or not. Now, this is probably going to be the most hypey part of the video, so bear with me, and then I'll kind of get into the additional information and facts and stats. <clears throat> so shared by Dylan here, you know, this is SPI CEO. Yoshitaka Katao. Now, this is well over last year, and these, this was actually in Japanese, and here's the actual translation. So basically just talking about, and he's a big shareholder in both of these groups. R3, obviously, high-value transactions. Ripple, low-value transactions, but ideally both high-volume. And he says, merge R3 and Ripple and make sure XRP is practically used. Swift have run out of options. Again, the legacy, you know, dominator, especially, I mean, even though they're just messaging rather than CLS. Again, Swift has given up on what they do internally. We have to have a global standard. If you use Corda Settler with XRP embedded in it, so that's good for Ripple because Ripple, you know, holds a lot. They have a vested interest in XRP as well, even if it's not them using it. And, and it's for Corda R3. It's a win-win. And we, SBI, are the largest shareholders of both straight from his mouth. I know a lot of people don't believe it, but again, at least the discussion is there, whether it's, you know, integrated with Swift GPI or whatever. And sorry about that. I'm speculating again. All right. So right here, this is back from 2016. As we can see, banks like ATB Financial Bank Canada, and then also Reese Bank in Germany have been using Ripple blockchain since 2016. We see that SAP actually organized this chat to explain to the users that they're working on blockchain technology, and SAP was testing and looking into integrating with Ripple's default virtual currency, XRP. So the news came from SAP's product market marketing consultant, Sarah Austin, who doubles as an entrepreneur and content creator and has been featured in the Forbes Under 30 list. Sarah started working at SAP in 2012. We can see about, you know, happy to, um, these two groups. As you can see, our SAP specifically is happy to announce their collaboration with Ripple, two financial institutions, in their quest to demonstrate how banks can improve their efficiency in conducting cross-border settlements, okay, with finality, not just payments and messaging, but go beyond that as well. And yes, they can solve both problems as well, Dex Current or, you know, Swift GPI, it doesn't matter. We're working on pre-funded accounts. Right here, working in Harmony, SAP and Ripple teamed up with ATB Financial, designing a proof of concept prototype back then the proof of concept was used to transfer as we can see one thousand dollars settlement from atb financial to reese bank all right we can see these pictures even a quick little video and this is all shared by bank xrp he shared this back in 2018 so credit to you i am just kind of rehashing this and showing for any newcomers that are kind of curious um you know what kind of background is xrp and testing do they really have so we can see this, you can kind of see how big SAP is as a whole, the banks, and again, XRP is aiming to be that bridge. Okay, so as we can see here, Ripple and SAP have worked together. There's no question about it. Now let's see what else SAP is working on. We can see here, buyers and suppliers collaborate on the world's largest B2B network. This is massive. This is called SAP Ariba. So it's going to be make, uh, basically a marketplace or network that allows buyers and suppliers to collaborate on transactions. Right? Suppliers can help buyers achieve their procurement transformation goals while boosting customer satisfaction, sales cycle, improving cash flow. So as we can kind of scroll down right here, so we can see right here, Ariba Network is a dynamic digital marketplace where millions of buyers and suppliers operating in more than 190 countries will transact more than 3.2 trillion US dollars in business commerce this year. All right, you guys can watch the video now with additional news. 
Um, we know SAP tested, you know, XRP. Who knows? I just want to show you what they're working on. And we know the benefits of XRP is an open sourced protocol with the XRP ledger and being more of, you know, open technology rather than a permission network. And they very likely could use a permissioned, you know, database or blockchain in their own, you know, specific digital asset or CB, not CBDC, but something like that. I get it. They can use their own walled garden token. But again, they still need to interoperate with other permissioned walled gardens or silos. So SAP also just recently um, on March 16th of this year, SAP and Goldman Sachs announced that they have joined forces to make it easier for companies to do business with the millions of suppliers. So now not only SAP, this behemoth and one of already going to be one of the biggest digital marketplaces for at least, you know, suppliers, Goldman Sachs is now innovating and backing them as well. As we can see again, Ariba Network, where more than $3.2 trillion in commerce is transacted annually. Okay, available SAP Ariba, talking about this, talking about the benefits as always, operational efficiencies, real-time payment tracking, messaging, blah, 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 you know, cost, optimized routing and payments, you know, all the same things, kind of benefits of, you know, any type of fintech nowadays, whether it's, you know, RippleNet or any competitor. Okay, we can see 4.6 million companies are connected in 190 countries, making it the largest business network in the world, right? And I'm sure if we kind of looked at the, you know, CAGR and saw the growth rate occurring, we'd realize that this market, especially in payments, is booming and settlement is going to be key here. Next, just to touch on this and we'll finish up, Matthew L-I-N-Y sharing this again. So Securitize explains the global potential for security tokens is in the 100s of trillions of dollars. And again, XRP, even getting a you know minute slice of this pie would be phenomenal. Just to show you, more than one project will survive whether they're open or closed types of networks. So the securities industry, a digital future beckons, we can see 1. or 1,600 trillion, better known as maybe 1.6 quadrillion, securities digitization represents a huge opportunity. Provided the challenges are addressed, the industry is poised to realize its potential. So Securitize is one of those big behemoths we're going to keep an eye on. As we can see here, figure one, just seeing the global potential of this entire market, um, this is when Bitcoin around 200 billion market cap, perhaps referring to just Bitcoin or referring to the whole cryptocurrency market, doesn't matter. We can see stock market, as we can see, United Kingdom, Japan, China, you know, US, Europe, the rest of the world around, you know, almost half a quadrillion, a little more than that. Actually, derivatives, this is on the low end. You can get a high estimate for derivative products up to like 1.2 trillion. We can see debt and we can see real estate at 217 trillion. And I get it. These are big numbers. I'm not trying to excite you. I'm just showing you that, you know, the tokenization of assets that need to be transferred are there even just beyond fiat. So now if we scroll down this, I accidentally um, just wanted to, you know, include this, but I didn't realize that Bank XRP already included this. So my apologies. We'll show Bank XRP's info. Um, this was older too, as we can see, Securitize becomes an SEC registered transfer agent. So we can also notice, of course, the Securitize, you know, the seven trillion dollar securities industry. So they're showing seven trillion on the low end compared to, you know, what you could really argue are securities, which is, you know. Well over seven trillion, so it depends on what you guys wanna, you know, consider. But as we can see, Ripple and Coinbase actually were in the Series A funding. I'll show documentation of that. And then even Spring, the initiative that Ripple's funding is investing in Securitize as well, the compliance platform for digitizing securities on blockchain. And I know you guys have seen the clips. Go to Securitize the website. You can actually even see other blockchains and technologies you can actually tokenize on the uh the Tezos blockchain, XTZ. So really, really cool to see that and just show at the click of a button what you guys can really accomplish. All right. We know spring. We can even see here securitized US, U.S. based firm that tokenizes assets and traditional securities has received twelve point seven five million dollars in investments from the likes of Coinbase and Ripple, among others. And I believe I pulled it up here. Yep. So we can see just part of them in the Series A funding. We also recognize, as we can see, I know we've seen Global Brand Corporation, but look, Blockchain Capital, another group that is well you know incorporated with spring as well all right so they have a backing they have a vested interest because the more assets that are tokenized the better it is for an open landscape in these open source protocols so as we know so i believe um fidelity was actually talking about institutional adoption of digital assets today as well so keep an eye on that let me see if there's anything else i wanted to address here talking about coinbase and ripple again uh, securitized to join IBM's blockchain accelerator to modernize $82 trillion in corporate debt market. SEC approves the blockchain tech startup Securitize. Um, I just think that these groups are well connected. They're well you know, regulated. They're making sure they're compliant. They're building from the ground up. And I know a lot of people are here to make overnight money. 
but that's just simply not the case. Um, when it happens, whether it's you know this year or five to ten years down the road, um, yeah, I mean it absolutely could happen overnight at that point. But you guys know the truth that it did take years of waiting, you know, letting the markets mature, liquidity develop, and regulations ensuring everything is here and rolled out just at the right moment. So with that, guys, I appreciate it. Hopefully you like this video. I just wanted to tie this in. I know many of you are probably going to complain and dislike this video because this is old news, but I just wanted to show this for the newcomers as well. Keep people informed because more and more people that I know are coming to me and asking for investment advice about metal stock market and cryptocurrencies. So I want to ensure that I'm putting out the information that exists so that they can make their own informed decision. So with that, check the links in the description. We have tax-free crypto Roth IRAs, exchanges, cold wallets down below. Shout out to Jamie XRP, Mikey, Crypto Beginner, Philip, Miles, and all other top channel members. Thank you guys. Be sure to hit the like button, share this video around, and until next time.